Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Burberry 4431 sunglasses. But first off, in today's video sponsor, our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop the sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These have 56 millimeter lenses and a 20 millimeter bridge. And this is the standard size of these frames and the only size, so there's not a larger or a smaller lens size when it comes to this particular pair of of Burberry frames. Now, as far as the build material goes, these frames are built out of an acetate material and the lenses are made out of a polymade bio lens. Uh, so a polymer lens here, not an all glass lens, but we can see the frames definitely are supposed to offer this really oversized and large uh, size to the frames. Uh, we can also see a little keel style bridge. It definitely kind of adds to the pop of the frames when wearing them on face and adds just a slight retro vibe to them. Now, if we take a look at the front, we can see there aren't any really gaudy logos or anything. They're just super, super clean from the front. And there is also not any metal accents here in the top corners of the frames. Now, if we move down to the outside temples, we can do see that uh, Burberry logo in both the left and the right temple of the frames, which just adds a little bit of extra pop. So overall, very discreet uh, logoing on these frames, in my opinion. Frames are unfortunately going to be relatively heavy because they have very tall lenses and relatively thick frames. Uh, so these frames are going to come in that 40 grams, so very heavy, especially considering the fact that they don't have all glass lenses. If they said all glass lenses, it would kind of make a little bit more sense why they're so heavy. Uh, but 40 grams here with uh, polymer lenses, uh, definitely a very heavy pair of frames. Now, as far as the balance goes, these frames are actually uh, pretty well balanced. If anything, they're actually rear balanced. Uh, here we can see they kind of have a little bit of a rear bias to them. Uh, typically, you have a big front bias with a pair of all glass lenses. Uh, with these having the polymer lenses are going to have a more rear bias to them, which some people definitely prefer. I think I'm actually one of those people. I prefer the frames to be a little bit heavier in the back than on the nose, uh, just because a pair of frames that are heavier in the nose can get a little bit uncomfortable. But overall, I would say a pretty decent balance to them with a backward uh, balance or backward lean to them, if you will. Uh, now, as far as the build quality goes, these frames are built really, really nicely. The polishing here is very, very nice. These have a slight two-tone uh, coreway to them. The exact coreway that I have on today's video have top dark black and then vintage check on the inside. And then the actual lens is a dark gray, non-polarized lens. But these frames are also available with polarized lenses as well in a different colorway. Uh, now, as far as the hinges go, these frames have very nice and premium five barrel all metal hinges. These feel really solid and substantial. And they don't feel like they're going to break very easily. These are just Luxottica's kind of a hinge that they put on a lot of different frames. So it's nothing too crazy, but definitely does feel good right out of the box. Now, if we take a look at the inner right temple of frames, we can see they say Burberry and then made in Italy. And then here in the inner left template frames, we can see the exact model number and color code information there uh, for authentication purposes. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, these frames are not going to offer the best coverage from the sun. So here up top, we can see there's a pretty big gap to let sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the side, again, there's a really big gap to let sunlight in unprotected. So overall, not the most practical pair of frames uh, from a coverage standpoint. Now, as far as the styling goes, I really do like the look of these frames. I think they look really classy and nice, a uh, kind of celebrity style, just a clean, simple, uh, somewhat oversized, a Wayfair styling to them. And I don't know exactly what it is about these frames, but I just really do like the way that they look. They look really, really good. They look a lot better on face than they do on pictures online of just the actual silhouette of the frame. Uh, they look good, just the silhouette, but once you put them on face, it really uh, kind of shapes the face really well, especially for me and I really do like these. My only complaint here would be the fact that they uh, do not have all glass lenses as far as a longevity standpoint. All glass lenses are going to have much better scratch resistance and they're going to last longer because of that. Uh, here with the polymer lenses, with the bio-based material, they're not gonna last nearly as long as an all glass lens would, so that definitely would be a negative here. Now, as far as the pricing goes, these frames are going to run, I believe, 281 uh, on Sunglass Hut's website, and I'm going to leave a link description down below to Sunglass Hut's website where you can buy these frames in all the different colorways. And then we also do have these available on our website 
for about $100 off the original MSRP. So uh, these frames coming in at $145, which you have them available on our website for, is a really, really good deal in my opinion, if I don't say so myself, because it is my website. Uh, but I think you really can't go wrong with these frames for that, uh, at that price point for a pair of uh, uh, frames that are made in Italy with good build quality and just a really interesting style with kind of discreet logoing. Uh, just a really good pair of frames in my opinion. But let me know think about this frame in the comment section down below. Uh, it's nothing too special. It is Luxottica made, so it's very similar to a pair of Ray-Bans or some of these other frames uh, that they produce. But it's just overall a decent pair, and I do like the look. So yeah, let me know what you think about them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll catch you all in the next one.